today, in honor of the 30th anniversary of the release of the film Jurassic Park, we are going to create vials of dino DNA. The things we need to create our dino DNA are some little bottles. So I actually picked up these little syringe bottles. These are 10 millimeter syringe bottles that have the lid that you have to crimp on. And this one came with the crimper. I'll put a link to that in the description. But if you don't want to do full on actual medical looking syringe bottles, you could definitely do these little glass bottles that have the metal screw top lid that you can get at Michael's, Hobby Lobby, sometimes a Dollar Tree, Walmart, wherever. And that'll definitely give you a very similar look. We are going to be using some rubbing alcohol, but alternatively, you could also use distilled water and just a tiny bit of glycerin or even just a tiny bit of rubbing alcohol to keep things from growing in it. We're going to be using some highlighters, and it's important that you get one that has five different colors. We're going to use some cups for mixing, as well as some gloves and pliers. And optionally, I'm going to be using a locking pencil box to put our little DNA bottles in. And to help give it some foam structure, I'm going to be using these EVA foam square dowels that I picked up at Hobby Lobby in the cosplay section. I think you can get similar things in the cosplay section at Michael's. And we will need scissors with that, as well as a hot glue gun. I have also optionally cut out of silver vinyl these little InGen logos that we are going to put on one side of our glass bottles. But that's completely optional. And finally, we will need our labels printed on sticker paper, or in this case, some printable vinyl. And the link for this is in the description down below. Let's get started. Would you like a chance to win one of my monthly potion bottles? Then consider supporting me over on Patreon. All of my patrons have a chance to win a monthly potion bottle. Link is in the description down below. Patreon not your thing? No worries, you can become a member here on YouTube. You'll get exclusive icons and emojis to use in the comment section. Link is in the description down below. For this one, I wanted the liquid to look like it was glowing even when it doesn't have a light. And then, alternatively, when you put a black light on it, it makes it even more glowy looking. But I didn't want to use, like, glow powder or something like that. I didn't want it to have to be mixed up. I just wanted it to be that color all the time. So that's why I decided that we were going to color this one with these highlighters. Now, when you're using the highlighters, they are non-toxic. They're not going to hurt you. You don't have to wear gloves. But it will get messy. So, like I said, I'm using um, alcohol, just pure alcohol. But you could definitely use... The distilled water and glycerin. So basically I'm figuring out how to get these apart. Sometimes the little back part pops off fairly easy. I'm gonna see. It does look like on the back of this one we will be able to get the back to come out which is nice because then we can just pull the little marker ink thing out. All right, so we're just gonna twist that off. Okay, so there's our little cap. And then in here, we should have Yep, okay. So we have the felt piece that's got the ink in there. And realistically, I'm just gonna plop that guy in here and we will give it a little squeeze to kind of help push some of that liquid out. And then I'm just going to kind of let it sit in there for a little bit. But see, this is why we wear gloves, because it can get really messy. Or you can just walk around with like tie-dye looking hands. So, wiped most of that off. I'm going to throw this away. And we're going to do the next four colors. Okay, so now that I have them all in here, I'm going to start squeezing them to try to get some of that ink out. As you can see, all of these are really cool, glowy looking colors on their own. But when we add a black light to them, 
they really glow. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. The green's probably the least glowy of the bunch. But let me see if I turn off some of my lights here. If you can see how they really glow. Yeah, the green one's probably the least um, exciting. May see if I can add a little bit of yellow in there just to try to get it a little bit more of a glowy feature. But they all look really cool with the black light. Okay, so I'm going to take all these out and then I'll show you how we're going to put them in our jars and seal and decorate those up. I added just a tiny bit of the yellow to the green and I do think it helped. It definitely helped give it a little bit more of a glowy quality. So that'll be good. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to fill our little baby bottles with our solutions that we just made. So I'm actually going to use one of these uh, pipettes to kind of suck it up and put it in there just because they are so tiny. I could use a funnel on that too, but I feel like it would overfill real quick. So I'm going to use this because it'll be just a tiny bit more controlled. Okay, so now that I have all of my little vials filled up here, we're going to seal and cinch them. So I'm going to just move these out of the way. Included with this kit came the little rubber stoppers. And these are what um, self-heal if you stick a needle into it to extract whatever liquid is in there. Um, so this goes on and then this lid gets crimped on there. Now, the blue part is on there for safety purposes. So if you pull that blue part off, let me show you my test bottle here. It exposes the center where it has that little silicone stopper that's self-healing so that you can stick the needle through it. Once you pull this off, you cannot put it back on. So it depends on whether you want yours to look like this or whether you want it to look like it does when it has the blue. I do have some blue in the labels, so an engine's got blue, so I don't mind the blue, but I feel like it's up to you as to what you wanna do. But the seal on here should keep these from evaporating pretty well too, just like a rubber corks. So to do this, we're just gonna take the little rubber stopper here and put it on. And then we're gonna put the cap on top of that. We're gonna make sure everything is pushed down really good. And then basically, let me move these out of the way. So once everything is pushed into place, you basically just put this over the whole thing and you kind of push down and pull the lever and it crimps the lid. onto the top, so it's on there, it's leak free, and it is ready to go. So that's why I went ahead and spent the money for this because I thought this was really cool and I may use it on other potions down the line. Um, but like I said, if you don't wanna invest in one of these, by all means, get these little twisty top guys that you can get at a multitude of different places and you're gonna get a similar look with it. All right, so that was really quick and easy. And now these are all perfectly sealed and look just like they belong in a lab. Using sophisticated techniques, they extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and bingo, dino DNA. The next thing I decided to do with mine was to add the little InGen logo. So this was my little test one here. And as you can see, the silver just kind of sits on the glass and then our label will be on the opposite side. But I just thought it would add a really cool detail. So I've got my little cut vinyl here on my little transfer tape 
and we're going to apply this. All right, and then we've got our little InGen logo on our vial. Now that I have all of my little InGen decals on there, we're gonna go ahead and add our DNA label. So on here, I don't know how easy it is going to be for you to see because it's super tiny. This says lot C-CC93, so that's Cooking and Craft Chick. And then 93 is because the year the movie came out was 1993. I have Brachiosaurus and a little silhouette of him. And then it's an InGen DNA sample. Volume is 10 milliliters. And then JP for Jurassic Park, the barcode. And then we've got the little DNA strand over here. So this is super tiny, <laughs> but um, it is all on here. So... Now you just have to figure out what color you want to make each dinosaur. So we've got the Dilophosaurus. That's the one that spits the little acid venom. We've got my personal favorite, Velociraptors. Triceratops. And, of course, Tyrannosaurus rex. So it's then deciding, okay, what color do I want to be what? So I think I'm going to make the Velociraptor the blue because of blue. And then the Dilophosaurus, I always think of orange. So I'm going to go there. Tyrannosaurus Rex, I think we'll go ahead and make that the yellow. We'll make the Triceratops the pink and the Brachiosaurus green because he's as I say in Jurassic Park veggiesaurus he's a veggiesaurus okay so I think that's how we're going to do them so now all I'm going to do is peel the backing paper off of this and like I said I did this particular one on printable vinyl you could definitely do it on just regular sticker paper anything like that um, but I thought the vinyl it's got a little bit of a different sheen to it than regular um, sticker paper so I thought um, I, I liked the sheen of it on here. It's not quite matte finish. It's got just like, a, it's almost like a eggshell or satin finish because it's, it's just barely got a little bit of a glimmer to it. Okay. And I figured we would just run this vertical. And yeah, I think I want it this way and then it's just figuring out where on the bottle and once it's straight all right so we have our velociraptor dna here and then it has the engine on the back All right, let me get the rest of these labels on. All right, well, there we have our five vials of Dino DNA. And because we made them with that highlighter liquid, when we put a black light by it, they do glow, which is pretty cool. So now we're going to make a box to put them in. And this is completely optional. You could definitely stop right here and be done. But I'm going to just take it one step further by putting them into a box. Okay, so to, to make a box to put our little vials in, I actually picked up this little locking pencil box, and um, I thought it just looked perfect for something that would hold the little Dino DNA bottles. So I'm just going to cut the tags off here, and let's open this up. All right, so in here it has the key. That locks it so I'm going to go ahead and cut that out as well and put that in a safe place in case I ever decide to actually lock it okay so since we've got our little box here we should be able to just measure our foam and make a little mark I'm just using my nail and then I'm going to take scissors to cut it Okay. 
and then we can just slip that right inside of our box. Then I'm going to use the hot glue gun to glue that into place so that we can start to create a little mold to fit our little bottles here. Okay, so I have cut two bars for the top, and I haven't glued anything in yet, and two for the bottom, which is about the right height for our little vials. And then I'll be able to put pieces in between all of them so they can't clank together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just glue these down. So the first thing we're gonna do is glue this in place. Okay, so we've got our two little edges there. Let me just get this little excess glue out. Not that we'll see it because there'll be pieces probably there anyway, but. All right, so we've got our two little edges and now I'm just going to take some pieces. I cut the same way. And we're gonna put them down like that so that we can put the little bottles in. Okay, so it almost fit perfectly with uh, full-size pieces across. I did trim this one down a little bit so that they would fit in there good, but I honestly think this fits better than I anticipated it fitting. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these middle bars down as well. And then we've got our little box that holds our vials. Now, because there is this section up here, we could put things like pipettes or syringes or anything up here that we felt like seemed good. If you wanna cover this up, you could definitely use some craft foam, which I may do. I may cut the top out just so then that way we're not seeing these. The other thing I did think about was installing a black light into the lid. The only problem with that is if I was to do that, I should put a ribbon or something that would keep the lid from opening all the way up so that the light would actually be effective. So let me show you. Because obviously if you open it like this, that's, that's not helpful. So if I had it installed in the lid, and it could only open so far, it could shine down on the bottles. Let me see if I can spin that better. There we go. So then it would only, whoop. Actually here, let's see if we can just kind of clip this on here for right now, just so we can kind of get an idea of how that might look. So I don't know I mean, it's hard to tell with all of the lighting I have on. I don't know how effective that light is actually going to be to the bottles. Now, if I had a strip of black lights that maybe I put underneath these bottles, I feel like that might be better. Um, but I didn't find any in the time I was making this. I had this like box idea at the last minute. So I will definitely put a link to some that I know you can put in here that are trimmable. You could even probably hide the battery pack on the bottom of this and just raise these all up just a little bit. But I think if you ran the black light underneath so that it shined all the way through them, I feel like you would get, you know, more of that kind of look um, through the bottles themselves. But I just wanted to give us a carrying case to put them in, quite frankly, but they would be just as cool sitting on a shelf. And I did decide to go ahead and cut that craft foam and put it in the top just to make it look a little bit more complete. And then I did just kind of place the pipette in there. So then that way we've got our little box of Dino DNA. And I love that it's just a little lockable box too. And there you have it, our Dilophosaurus, Tyrannosaurus rex, Velociraptor, Triceratops, and Brachiosaurus DNA vials.
These will be a perfect addition to our potion and prop collection we've made along the way. So if you guys like this video, give me the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we will catch you guys later. Thanks so much.